This video will outline troubleshooting of the engine temperature sensor in circuit for the MXV fuel injection system, including error codes, use of the FI diagnostic tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The engine temperature sensor is screwed into the engine block between the cylinders. It's a variable resistor using an NTC type of resistor, negative temperature coefficient, which means as the engine temperature increases, the resistance of the sensor decreases. The engine temperature sensor has two possible error codes, P0117, temperature circuit low voltage, P0118, circuit high voltage, or open. The normal range of voltage for the engine temperature sensor is between 0.6 and 4.8 volts DC, just like the MAP and intake air temperature sensors. If the voltage is 0.5 volts or lower, the ECU will set error code P0117. Possible causes include the green-red signal wire shorted to ground, the signal wire shorted to another wire in the harness that might provide a path to ground, or a sensor failure. If the signal voltage is over 4.8 volts DC, then the ECU would set P0118. Possible causes here would be an open signal wire, an open ground wire between the sensor and this parallel connection, the signal wire shorted to either a 5 volt or even a 12 volt circuit inside the wire harness, or a temperature sensor failure. Now if the ground wire were broken after this parallel connection, it would affect all these sensors, so you'd have multiple error codes. As we covered in the ECU and self-diagnostic video, the intake air and engine temperature sensors get the 5 volt DC reference voltage from inside the ECU on a series circuit, so the testing procedure is a little bit different for temperature sensors. The engine temperature sensor gets the 5 volts DC from inside the ECU going to the engine temperature sensor on the green-red wire. Back probe to the green-red wire at the ECU and at the sensor. Also back probe to the black wire at the engine temperature sensor. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the green-red wire at the sensor and the negative lead to the black wire at the sensor. Connect the FI Diag tool, turn the main switch on, and set the Diag tool to Diag ET. Note the temperature and voltage readings. This chart will give you an idea of the readings you should get. As you can see, higher temperatures will equal a lower voltage reading, lower temperature, higher voltage. If the temperature and voltage readings match this chart within the tolerance percentage, the sensor and circuit should be good. If the readings vary a great deal, use the following steps to verify the sensor circuit. Move the positive lead from the green-red wire at the sensor to the ECU. The voltage should be the same. If it is higher, there is unwanted resistance in the green-red wire between the sensor and the ECU. Switch the positive lead back and forth between the sensor and ECU a couple of times to recheck the voltage readings. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the black wire at the sensor and the negative lead to a good ground on the engine. The voltage should be less than 0.02 volts DC. This voltage drop test confirms the ground circuit from the sensor through the ECU is good. If the voltage is higher than 0.02, there is excessive resistance in the black wire between the sensor and the ECU, a ground circuit problem inside the ECU, or the ECU does not have a good ground. If the ECU detects a failure in the engine temperature circuit, it will switch to a default mode to allow the engine to keep running. The ECU will set the engine temperature to match the intake air temperature reading at that time. For example, if the engine was running at 180 degrees and the intake air was 120, the ECU will set the engine temperature to 120 if it detects a failure in the engine temperature circuit. This could affect the engine performance, depending on the air-fuel ratio setting when the ECU starts using the default temperature setting in the FI calculations. Other videos in this series will give you in-depth troubleshooting and diagnostic information on each FI sensor and circuit. Be sure to watch them all and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.